We've had a long-standing relationship with Apple, and we've collaborated with them on developing our own patient-centered Mayo Clinic patient app. But now we're going to expand that, and we're going to move more to a consumer as well as a patient-facing application and call it the Mayo Clinic app. Consumers or patients could take data from their local environment, their home, they could connect it to the Mayo Clinic app, and then as patients interact with their physicians when that information is passed from the Mayo Clinic app and ultimately into the electronic health record. In the exciting part about this is not only will our own patients be able to use this app, but consumers now will be able to reach out to Mayo Clinic from any place in the world and they'll be able to take their own sensor data embedded into HealthKit and then be able to examine their health and wellness goals or parameters. From the very start, patient privacy has been our utmost concern when it, when it comes to apps. And even with our own Mayo Clinic patient app, we have made sure that we protect our patients' confidential information to the utmost. The government has regulations, which we all know about through HIPAA, but above and beyond that, Mayo Clinic has a standard that has built our legacy of trusted and affordable for 150 years. So we are the utmost concerned about protecting patient confidentiality, and we will continue to do that. The information contained in, within HealthKit is at the patient's control, and what they do with that information and who they share that with is up to them. Apple has said that that information will be securely housed in the iCloud and only those patients will have access to it and it will be up to that patient to, to deem who would be appropriate to share, to share that information. Dr. Noseworthy has clearly said that we'd like to reach out and have 200 million relationships by the year 2020. This Apple mail relationship is one part of that broader connect to care strategy. We all believe that technology, technology solutions such as these will really drive to affordable health care in the future. And if we can use these solutions to reach out to patients at the front line of care, we can decrease ER visits, we can decrease hospitalizations, and ultimately and hopefully decrease the overall cost of care for the patients and for the U.S. health care system. Um, it, was a, it was an amazing opportunity for me, and more importantly, an amazing opportunity for Mayo Clinic. Uh, it's a very Apple-controlled event, and it was a rock, rock concert-like feel, and it was an old-world rock concert-like feel because people uh, had to go through a lottery process to obtain tickets. There was no assigned seating, and there was a long line around the door waiting to get in at 8 a.m. when the conference started. Apple itself believes that the Mayo Clinic Apple relationship is important. They believe that it's important to move healthcare forward. And they, Apple believes that they have a social responsibility to do something in the healthcare space. And we obviously have a moral responsibility and have proven that moral responsibility to treat our, pa treat our patients for the last 150 years. So I think it's a relationship um, that could do great things. So Apple announced the development of HealthKit a central data repository to allow patients to place health and wellness parameters into one central source on any software device that they own. The relationship with Mayo Clinic is based on the fact that that health kit will be able to seamlessly connect consumers or patients to their providers through our new Mayo Clinic app, which will have both a patient pathway and a consumer pathway for all individuals to reach out to Mayo Clinic. What makes this interesting is you now take a world-class electronic platform and software producer like Apple and you marry it to information, knowledge, and health care at Mayo Clinic, and now all those data points become actionable for patients. So my blood pressure is 120 over 70. What does that mean? Well, you can take your finger and place it on that app. A card could potentially flip over and it'll say, it's normal. Continue doing what you're doing. Maintain 30 minutes of exercise three days a week or whatever that recommendation is. But if it's abnormal, there could be recommendations as well. So we reach out to consumers. We reach out to patients in a different way. And we allow their data to become actionable and allow them to learn and change what they're doing instead of just collecting data that really is dead-end data.